This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's in Marbella. We're at the press conference for Friday Night Lights, 24th of July, Wembley Arena, where Frank Bullioni will take on Fedor Chudinov for the WBA uh, Super Middleweight title. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you, Coogan, yeah. Well, a bit of a whirlwind couple of weeks for you. Um, yeah, it's been absolutely crazy, but um, it's, all been, it's all been good, positive stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm absolutely relishing the, uh, the chance to, to go and perform and, and win a world title. Talk to me about obviously the process of what happened. We, you know, we were under the assumption that a rematch between you and Lee Markham would take yep. place, as as were you. Then, yeah, just suddenly got a call from Frank telling you about this, and you obviously jumped at it. Yeah, the, I mean, obviously, um, I was looking forward to the rematch with Lee Markham. It's un, unfinished business, and uh, I'm sure that will come along down the line. As I said, um, <coughs> could be a bigger fight now down the line between me and Lee Markham. But when an opportunity for to fight for a world title comes along. You take it. Mm. Um, obviously, opportunity-wise, you can't knock it. It's, it's, it's a great chance for you, like I said, uh, against Chudinov. But um, you fully feel like you're ready for this step up? Yeah, without a doubt. I've always been, um, I've always been able to raise my game um, to the occasion, especially when I'm when I'm the underdog. Um, I've done it time and time again in the amateurs, and um, I'm in a very good place right now. Um, I put put pressure on myself to perform before. Um, and I haven't been showing what I can do in the gym, um, but now the pressure's off. I'm just going in there to win. Um, I don't care how I win, look messy, it doesn't matter. I'm going to come in and I'm going to win the title. Some people refer to uh, Federal Children of as the better children of out of the two brothers. Yeah, of course, yeah. um, obviously, we saw Dimitri you know, in a grueling contest with Chris Eubank Jr. Yep. But um, did you watch um, Children of and Sturm? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that fight. And, uh, it's, it's fair to say that Chudinov, uh, Fedor, is, is better than the brothers because he's world champion. Um, I watched him against Stern. He boxed really well. He's a good fighter. He's got my utmost respect and uh, my full concentration. Um, and he's got he's got the world title that I want. So um, I'll be preparing to the best of my ability and uh, I'll do whatever it takes to win. In a red-hot weight division, uh, both on the world scene and also uh, domestically here, um, Frank Warren said this is could be your best chance of winning a world title. Would you see it like that? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, Fedor Chudinov, um, you've got to say, due to his inexperience as a professional and the other champions that are out there, he's, he's the weakest of the four. So what better opportunity to, to go and win a world title against the weaker of the four opposition and uh, set up some bigger fights in the future. Just talk to me a little bit about how you'll set your camp up for this fight um, in July. Obviously, you're spending it in Ireland, I'm assuming. That's right. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Steve Collins has been here and he's full of encouragement and believes you can go on and do this on the 24th yeah, of July. Yeah, that's, that's a massive boost as well to know that Pascal and Collins, um, Pascal and Steve have, have both got the, uh, the faith in me to do it. And that's come from the fact of how well I performed in the gym and I've shown them um, world-class ability. Um, I'm just going to take that into the ring now. Um, the last fight, I put a little bit too much pressure on myself, didn't do myself justice, um, tried to show too much, tried to show the improvements. This time it's all about winning. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. How many Team Bullioni fans turn up for a Frank Bullioni world title fight? Oh, it's going to be into the thousands, Coogan. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Um, the, the phone's been ringing off the hook um, about tickets and is it true because there was a, there was a couple of leaks early on. Um, obviously, I couldn't confirm it until, it was, until the contracts were signed. I didn't want to promise um, anything, false promises. Um, so now it's official. Um, I'll, I'll start selling and I'll start letting uh, Tim Bullioni know. Must have been a bit frustrating because obviously there was meant to be a press conference this last week yeah. and obviously there was a few people that knew about this but obviously officially you couldn't say anything yeah, but, uh, right. today. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Well, all the, uh, all the, all the people that buy, buy tickets off me, they'll be getting these uh, new Tim Bullioni, Tim Wise by t-shirts, uh, half Tell price. Tell about them. That's it. A bit of plug so in that's there. it. Bit of plug in there. All right, well, listen, Frank, uh, best of luck with your camp. And like I said, it's a great chance for you. 24th, unexpected, but yeah, you've got to take, you've got to take these yeah, things as they it's come. Probably, it's probably come a lot sooner than uh, people expected, but when the, when the opportunity is there, take it. Otherwise, you, you may never have that opportunity again. Mm. Just finally, I've, you, heard, you made reference to yourself as the underdog going into this fight, and yeah. you're quite happy to have that tag going into this fight. I love it. Um, be the first fight that I really go in as the underdog. And um, in my amateur career, when I was the underdog, I always performed very well. And uh, pressure's off, all the pressure's on. Trudinov, he's coming into my, my turf. Um, he's going to have a lot of fans. 
against him, screaming against him. And um, he's got to defend the title that he's worked hard to get, but pressure's off me. I want to go out there and perform and box to the best of my ability and uh, take that belt. All right, Frank Woodley on this and thanks for talking to IFL TV and uh, we'll hopefully catch up with you ahead of uh, the 24th bill in July at Wembley. Lovely. All right, thanks, thanks very much. much.